Shalom Abracha from Yerushalayim. We are going to continue with our discussions dealing with the Mesader. This is part three, uh, the one empowered to giving out the honors uh, and the Mizvot in the synagogue, the Aliyot and the Pitiha and the Julian. We mentioned the Pitiha and the Julian, and before I begin the discussion of the Aliyot, I didn't want to mention a custom which is not practiced today certainly not in Brooklyn, as far as I know, in the other Halabi communities, there also, it is also not practiced, uh, but it was practiced in Halab and in 67th Street at the Magen David. This is an honor that is called Menawale. Menawale comes from the Arabic root Nawala, which means to hand over. And what this, what this honor was, as I mentioned, uh, previously, the one who is honored with opening the Echal with the Pitiha is also responsible for taking out the proper Sefer Torah and handing it to the person who has the honor of the Julian, of carrying the Sefer. There was another honor that was that was called Menawale, where the person who was given this honor is the one who, not the one who opens the, the Echal, but someone who has the Pitiha, and then this person who gets the Menawale is in charge of taking the Sefer Torah out and giving it to the one who's carrying the Sefer. Now, this was probably uh, only done on the high holidays when they sold the, the mitzvot. Maybe in the, they also sold them in the Shalosh uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but we know that this was, uh, this was done in Halab in certain synagogues and only during certain times of the year, usually the high holidays. We know because we have these the records from 67th Street for the Bayan David, and uh, and you have the honor of Menawale. It's not practiced today, but I think it's important to know uh, our history. Now we're going to continue talking about the Aliyot and the customs of, of our customs regarding the Aliyot, uh, and we'll begin with with that we follow Maran. In Siman Kofla Min He, when he speaks about that the Kohen goes up first, then the Levi, then the Israel, the Pereda Kea Shalom. The first Aliyah, first of anything, always was the most important. So there was a discussion, and there are uh, uh, other opinions that that uh, the biggest Hacham, the most important person in the Kahal, would be the one to get the first Aliyah. But we follow a custom that is Kohen. Levi Israel. The most important aliyah for the Kahal, based on the Kabbalistic tradition and the Sefirot, is Aliyat Shishi. Now, this aliyah is usually reserved for the Talmud Hakam or Hakam of the Kehillah or someone who's learned. A very important person that's learned is the one who goes up, goes up Aliyat Shishi. You don't give Shishi to, to anybody. Uh, uh, in the Kahal, it's reserved for the, the uh, learned people. The Aliyah of Maftir, based on the Kabbalah, which we follow, in this case, is the most important Aliyah for someone who has to make the prayer for the deceased. What the Ashkenazim call Yorzeit, or we call Ma'ad, he has to make a Hashkabah. Uh, and here again, it's up to the Masadir to understand that there are even when it comes to, to Askarot, there are priorities. Someone is, is within 30 days, okay, that takes precedence someone who's within a year. If someone uh, is uh, within a year and there's somebody who's, who's maybe had a parent passed away many, many years ago, so obviously someone within the year would take priority. Again, but it's all shikuledat, it's all up to the discretion of the Mesadeh, but he has to, to, to have a logic behind his actions. It's important that the one going up Maftir reads the Haftarah. It's very important. I'm not going to get into the halachic issues. It's beyond the, 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 the scope of this, uh, of, this video, of this series. But it's important that he read the, he read the, the, the Haftarah. Similarly, it's important that the one going up Mashlim says the Kaddish. Somebody doesn't want to say the Kaddish. For whatever reason, uh, his parents are Makbid, superstitious, whatever you want to, uh, for whatever reason, he doesn't want to say the Kaddish, he should go Mashli. He should go another Aliyah. Following Shishi on Shabbat, 
we add aliyot. It's called rakke. Rakke means gamma ole, gamma ole. The reason we do this because there are semahot kenya uh, in synagogue, and we have to we, we need we need extra aliyot. So we try if there's room to have a new reading for every ole. But if it's not possible, then you could custom is to repeat a very short piece after shishi. So you have shishi, then rakke gamma ole, gamma ole as many as needed. Followed by the Samukh, which is also an aliyah which we sell on the high holidays. And usually when it's Samukh, sort of the, some of the Kadam is Sadeh will go the Samukh. So for two reasons. Number one, so if there's many aliyot and people are, maybe they go outside for a period, they know they not have to come back for the new reading. And also because the, the Somech, which we will discuss in the later video, the one standing next to the, the uh, Kore, Instructing him to the stops. He knows that this is the last aliyah before the mashlim. That's what it means, samuch. Samuch means close by to the mashlim. Samuch, the mashlim. We call it aliyah samuch. On the high holidays, we want to add aliyot, so we uh, sell, so we'll say somech and samuch. But generally on Shabbat, we only have samuch. Now, the it's important for the to understand, if you recall in our last video, we spoke about the how to prioritize the Simachot. Hatan, Abiyabed, Abiyabad, Bar Arus. And the same thing applies not only when it comes to Fetiha, but it comes, it comes to the Aliyot. So the Aliyot also. Hatan would go before a uh, Abiyabad or, or, or Bar Mitzvah. And that's generally how it's broken up based on the priority of the type of occasion. Uh, so. We will continue in our next video discussing customs of the of the Olim Latura. Call to